How does Isaiah 26 verse 20 apply to our current situation? Get with me Isaiah chapter 26 verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. So you can see why people would think that verse applies to today. Hide yourself in the chambers, shut the doors, wait for the indignation to be passed. It'll be a little moment, but just huddle together closely, shelter, and then all will be good. So people look at Isaiah 26, verse 20, and they think that that's a description or that that's somehow applicable to us today during the dispensation of grace. Let me say this. As you read through the Bible, there's, go there's always going to be verses that seem similar to current events. The Bible writes about earthquakes. So when we have an earthquake today, it's going to seem similar. The Bible writes about pestilence. So when we have pestilence today, it's going to seem similar. The Bible writes about war. So when we have war today, that those verses will seem similar. But just because they seem similar doesn't mean they're the same. And so let me illustrate it this way. A man gets up in the morning and he says, God, I want to do your will. So he closes his eyes. He waves his finger. He opens his Bible. Show me, Lord, what you want me to do. Then Judas went out and hung himself. And the man says, well, that can't be God's will for my life. Let me try again. God, show me your will. Show me what you would have me to do. Speak to me. Go thou and do likewise. No, God, I want to know your will. Show me your will. Reveal to me what you want me to do. What thou do, doest quickly. Now, what I want you to realize is this. Just putting your finger on a verse, just grabbing a verse out of its context is superstition. You have to understand the verse in its context. Isaiah 26, verse 20, has nothing at all to do with us today. I realize that when you read the verse, it sounds a lot like staying at home. And it was encouraging people to stay at home at that time. But let's look at a little context. So get with me Isaiah chapter 26. Isaiah chapter 26. Now, by the way, the book of Isaiah in general is about Israel's impending judgment by Gentile nations. That's the, the context of the book. So we read Isaiah 26, verse 20. Look at verse 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So when you read Isaiah 26, verses 20 and 21, what it's saying is this. Israel, take shelter, stay inside, because what God the Father is going to do is he's going to pour out wrath on your adversaries for a time, and then you can come out. That's what it's saying. That verse has nothing to do with us today. Isaiah 26, that chapter, is about the pouring out of God's wrath. We don't live during the pouring out of God's wrath. Think through this with me if you would. If we hide the mystery, in Acts chapter 2, Peter stood up. He said, this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Joel was speaking about the 70th week. He was speaking about judgment. If God had not interrupted the prophetic program, it would have gone right into the 70th week and the pouring out of God's wrath. So if God wanted to pour out his wrath at that time, he would have just let things continue as they were. But what God wanted to do is he wanted to interrupt the pouring out of wrath. He wanted to call time out. He wanted to put it on hold. We don't live during the dispensation of wrath. We live during the dispensation of grace. God today is not pouring out judgment on the earth. He, today is a time 
of grace. So Isaiah 26, verse 20, really does not have application to us today. It's not something that God intends for us. One final thought and we'll wrap up. Sometimes what happens is people want to grab a verse because the verse resonates with them or it sounds similar. What I would encourage you to do is to be a student of the Bible. Look at the context. Understand specifically what God is doing with us today during the dispensation of grace.